To mark this year's National Day of Mourning, a group under the umbrella of Serenina Peace, Justice and Development Initiative in Jos, Plateau State Capital, are calling for concrete measures to be taken to end the continued bloodshed across Nigeria, particularly in Plateau State. The group holds a joint road to hold government accountable for mass atrocities and insecurities in Nigeria. The National Day of Mourning and Remembrance for Victims of Mass Atrocities and Violent Killings is an annual citizen-led initiative to recognize and accord dignity to victims of mass atrocities as more as they are more than just numbers. They are human beings, citizens whose identities must not be forgotten and to demand justice for them. We, the undersigned civil society organization in commemoration of the 2024 National Day of Mourning and in assessing President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's first year in office, reiterate our call to the government to fulfill its constitutional duty of ensuring the security and well-being of all Nigerians, account for the missing and the dead, and ensure justice for all the various forms of mass atrocities across the country. The group also passed a special message for Plateau State Government regarding its unique security situation. It is unfortunate that we have gotten to a point where people dying has become statistics. And we're saying there should be a say, a big no to that. We wish to call also on the Plateau State Government that it is time for us to institutionalize a special trust fund for all children of displaced people, for all children who are in IDPs. Those children deserve to get quality education in spite of the fact that they have been routed from their villages, in spite of the fact that their parents have been killed, in spite of the fact that they have been, they have, they have been orphaned. We call on the State House of Assembly to work together with the, the, the executive to ensure that there is a special law, there's a special legislation for that. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.